Hi, this is MD Asadu Jamand and in this video I'm going to give a quick demonstration of the Adobe Bridge FTP and uh, Photo Manager plugin. So there goes the plugin that comes as a Bridge FTP uh, Bridge web palette and some of the default properties of the Bridge web palette is that it can be dragged into different pos relative positions and the other property, the default property is that it can be shrinked or the size can be increased or decreased so the first thing we need to do is to log in into the system um, of course the login form is validated so if we enter wrong information then the system is going to give us a warning for example if I entered the wrong password the system is going to say that the password didn't match And as you can see, we have got a, besides the login button, we have got a refresh button that can refresh the system. So if anything goes wrong, the refresh button is going to get the default position back. So once we have logged in, it is going to say that login was successful and the FTP list have been retrieved. And the login username is shown right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to give a quick overview of the different parts of the system so the first row we see here we have got a uh, a text field that, that that the purpose of the text field is to show the currently selected directory location of the FTP server so once we connect to the FTP server the file system is going to display in this area and if we select any files or directories the location is going to be displayed in here and the next thing is the name who is currently logged in user and the other button logout button is going to is used for to log out from the system and the second row it is called uh, control panel 1 and in the control panel we have got the main uh, the buttons to control the, the main features of the software for example file transfer so the upload and download button is for file transfer and watermark manipulation uh, rename file or directory add new directory delete directory or files and the site manager module and this area as I said this area is for the the files and to display the file system from the FTP server and we have got the control panel too and there are some um, additional buttons to have some additional controls over the system for example by using the clear log button we can clear the messages showed in the the message log section so that's what it is and we have got an empty box here that that has a spinner so when a process starts the spinner starts spinning and when it finishes that mm, that the spinner stops so that shows that a process is going on the status of a process so the first thing we're going to uh, see is the site manager module so if we click on the button the site manager comes as a model dialog pop-up box and it shows the the currently available FTP account into the system as a drop-down so we can select and we can connect to any site using the connect button currently I'm, I'm, I'm logged in into the system as a regular user that's why it only shows this um, just one feature but there are other features in the system which are accessible only for the admin user so let's log in into the system using um, admin user details So now we are logged in as an admin user and the site manager is going to show uh, all the different features for example add new FTP account or edit the details of an FTP account or delete an FTP, FTP account and this is the form, multi-purpose form so we, this is the only form that is going to be used to add an account, edit account so all these features are based on the same uh, form so the, uh, the second thing we're going to do is to connect to an FTP account for example we have got a one two three four five FTP accounts here say so for example we're going to, we want to connect to the test so we can click and it shows that the the system is connected to this host and the tree is ready to browse so th there goes the tree that shows 
the file system of the connected FTP account. Um, so we can start the feature testing one by one. So, for example, if we want to download the files from the FTP server into our local drive, say for example we want to delete the test folder from the FTP server, we can click or we can select which files we want to download. The, the system is um, capable of downloading multiple files and directories so if there is any files insert the uh, directory that will be downloaded as well so we can select and click on the download button and a model dialog comes up that shows that that asks for the location where we would like to download the file for example we want to download the file in this location and from the bridge we can copy the location and we can click on download and it says the download processing download and the process is finished so the spinner stops and the files are downloaded so that so the system is the recursive function that is used in the download feature is cap capable of downloading multiple files and directories and it is capable of maintaining the same structure as it was originally in the FTP server. First thing we are going to test is the upload feature. So the upload mm, button, if we click on it, that gives us the model dialog, upload, upload dialog. Um, we have got three buttons here. The first button is to add new file input field. This will allow the gives the user more control. Uh, to give the user to allow the user to upload multiple files and directories or we can remove the the extra input field and we can select which files we would like to upload and the files will be uploaded into the selected directory so there there this is where the user would like to upload the file if he would like to upload the file somewhere else then he can uh, select and that's where he can upload so by clicking on the start button uh, the spinner shows us the process it checks for the duplicate uh, files if any files with the same name already exist into the selected directory uh, it will give us a warning that the files already exist otherwise it will upload the file and it shows that which files have been uploaded say for example if we want to upload the files again then it will give us a warning that these files already exist and if we want to skip the files we can click on no or if we were to right to replace the file we can click on yes and it will replace the files so these files have been uploaded again basically it, the files are replaced and uh, the next thing we're going to see is the rename add and delete feature so by using the rename we can rename any selected file or directory from the system so if we want to rename the test directory then test directory to something else for example this one we can click on apply and it will rename that the, it shows that the files have been renamed then we can refresh the tree and that shows the rename file or if we want to add a new directory into we can add a new directory Maybe. so the new directory has been created the system responded yeah. or we can delete a directory say for example we have we want to delete uh, the directory we just created or we can delete a file as well it gives us a warning that if we really want to delete the file so it has deleted the directory from the system if there is any files inside or any any directories inside the delete will recursively delete all the files and directories from the selected files and directories so now we are going to see the site manager module uh, we can get the site manager module by clicking the site manager button. Um, the site manager module is consisted of a drop down menu that shows the currently available site a FTP account in the system, and there is a connect button to connect to the selected FTP account and add button to add edit details and delete an FTP account. So, we're going to see the functions one by one. So if we want to add a new FTP account into the system, and if 
to edit the details. If we leave any field empty, for example, if we want to, it will produce a warning for us. So the system says that the FTP account has been added and it is available in the system already and we can edit the details of an FTP account for example if we want to edit the details of the FTP account we have just added we can click on edit and it will get all the details and we can for example we want to add the, the, the edit the name and we can click on save it will save the new account details and the system will be updated automatically and we also can delete an FTP account for example we want to delete the test account we have just added we can click on delete it wants a confirmation so we click on delete and it deletes the FTP account and also it updates the system so the last feature we're going to see is the watermark manipulation it allows the user uh, to manipulate watermark over image files for example jpeg or png files so the destination directory where the the watermark manipulated files should be saved for example we want to save the files into this location and we can browse the watermark file and we can manipulate watermark over multiple images so using the add button we can add more fields and then we click on apply and that would uh, produce the watermark images so this is an image as you can see the watermark goes over the image and we have got some additional control in the control panel too that, that gives this uh, for example by clicking the clear log button the, the the logs that the system produced are cleared but using the other two buttons expand and collapse tree we can uh, minimize the tree or we can expand it or if the user might like to know which files he have selected if there are many files at once he would like to work on and uh, he can see what files he was selected by click on the get selected button so it shows the selected and the check by using this button it shows which files have been checked so that's all thank you very much